Hi, my name is John Goldsby. You're about to watch a video from my Discover Double Bass course, Tell Your Story, Creating a Jazz Bass Solo. Enjoy it. Paul Chambers was one of the great jazz bass soloists, and it's important when we're learning to play you know, bass solos that we uh, tip our hat to the uh, masters of the jazz bass tradition. And this next solo is a, a transcription from Paul Chambers from the Kenny Dorham record called Quiet Kenny. Beautiful record, and Paul Chambers is really uh, playing great on that record. So let's look at this solo for a second. There are uh, several choruses of a blues and F, five choruses, and you can see just when you look at the notation that he's using a lot of uh, repetitive phrases in the first chorus. So he's using repetition and he's actually quoting the, a melody, a shout, little shout melody that they've played in the tune already. Uh, you'll see in the second chorus, he also repeats a phrase and uses repetition. In the third chorus, he starts to use more scale passages uh, more uh, inside the harmony. In the fourth chorus, he goes back to playing repetitive phrases. And in the fifth chorus, he finishes off the solos with a little call and response. He actually draws the rhythm section and Kenny Dorham, the trumpet player, uh, back into his solo. So it's a very well-constructed blues solo. And uh, this is what it sounds like. Blue Spring, Paul Chambers. One, two, one, two, three, four. So this solo is just yeah, chock full of licks and patterns and great musical ideas. And more importantly than that, he structures it in a way that grabs your attention and draws you from one chorus into the next chorus into the next chorus. He really tells his story. So yeah, in the next chapter, you'll get a chance to play along with the rhythm section and play this solo. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about the course, the links are provided below.